The Parker County teenager who murdered his mother and sister pleaded guilty to the crimes and will be sent to prison. Jacob Evans called 911 after the murders and described himself as evil. The Alvarado first on Fox 4 News in Weatherford with today's plea hearing. Clarice Jacob Evans will turn 20 years old next month and he's on his way to prison for 45 years for the murder of his mother and his sister. The family uh, supports the plea agreement saying that they want to save him and the family from a capital murder trial. Jacob Evans walked into the courtroom still looking much like the frail 17-year-old teenager of two and a half years ago when he killed his mother and 15-year-old sister. He came to court to enter his plea. Guilty. And you're telling me that voluntarily? Yes, sir. Evans had been in a maximum security mental hospital after he was ruled incompetent to stand trial. A competency evaluation was filed this week. Before the plea agreement, the judge ruled Evans is now competent. Evans and the attorneys agreed he will serve two 45-year prison sentences running concurrently. His attorney read from a letter from Evans' family. We feel that this is a fair plea bargain under all circumstances, even though our family would support a lesser sentence in 45 years if it was possible to do so in this case. The prosecutor says he understands why the family would have preferred less prison time. I think what that really tells you is the absolute power of forgiveness of this family, given the circumstances of the father and the siblings of Jake Evans to have lost a sibling and their mother. Uh, they have forgiven him to depths that just should inspire everybody in this case. Jacob Evans shot his mother and sister at their Alito home in October of 2012. He called 911 and confessed. I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my mom and my sister. Prosecutors say the 911 call may be all we ever know about why Evans killed his mother and sister. He gives his explanation of why he did it. He wanted to see why it was like. I don't know that we'll ever get much further beyond that in terms of understanding what exactly happened that night. Evans has to serve at least half his prison term before he's eligible for parole. He's been in jail for two and a half years, which means he has to do a solid 20 years before he's eligible if he gets paroled then. Clarice? Bill Evans was up for capital murder. Why did it end as two murder charges? Well, the, the Supreme Court says that you can't uh, put a 17-year-old uh, in prison for his, the rest of his life without parole, or you can't uh, sentence him to death. And basically, those were the only two punishments for capital murder in Texas. The legislature has tried to fix that, but prosecutors just didn't want to chance it. And for the family, it would have meant either a capital murder case or two murder trials. Phil Alvarado, thank you.